Lads, 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 ain't good Nick here. And all I want to talk about is, where is Neil Morpé? Where is he? I'm sick to death of seeing articles about us signing Neil Morpé for, for 10 million, for 12 million, for 15 million, for 20 million, for 22 million. I've actually seen something say that we're going to sign him for 22 million. That's never going to happen in a million years. Let's be honest. But I do think that we will end up signing him. And I think we'll sign him for around 15 million, something like that. However, it's taking its time, isn't it? Before we were talking about uh, Ollie McBurney, uh, we we're obviously talking about Neil Morpé. Jay Rodriguez were being mentioned and rumoured with us. And uh, it seems like we're settled on Morpé. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of papers are saying that we're going to be signing Morpé and McBurney together. That would be nice. That would be really nice because I do think we need four or five strikers. We really do in this Premier League season because all it takes is to get an injury. All it takes is to have a suspension or someone not playing very well or just having a niggle in general. And it, it upsets everything. Look at what happened to us last time we were in the Premier League. We had one striker who was scoring all the goals in rubbles. He broke his leg. We never recovered. We got relegated. McBurney and um, Morpé would be great. If not, just more pay. I'd rather have more pay than McBurney. I thought this was going to be sorted a week ago when Jags came in. But it didn't. It's kept going on and on and on. The Blades are in Portugal um, looking like they're training really, really hard as well. Um, and then Brentford are in Austria for some reason. It looks really dreary in Austria. Uh, and that's where more pay is with uh, Brentford at the moment. So it doesn't look great that he's in Austria with Brentford. However, he's a Brentford player. He's obviously going to be with Brentford. He's obviously going to go where they tell him to go. Now, if I was a manager of a club, if I was a chairman of a club, I would not want somebody there who will probably be leaving. Because let's be fair, he's going to leave. Don't matter where he goes, he can come to us. Uh, I've heard Burnley. I've heard uh, other championship clubs interested. I don't think he'll be at Brentford by the uh, the start of the season. But let's just hope it's us. It's really, really taking the mick this now. It really, really is. Um, the thing is about, about McBurney, um, like I said, I've not seen him that much. He looks like a big, strong striker. Not got too much pace. That is not the end of the world. There's not many big strikers in the world that have pace as well. Um... But the problem is, we don't have pace. We have not got any strikers with any sort of pace. Um, so we do need something, especially in the Premier League. You can't expect to walk the ball in the back of the net in the Premier League. And to be fair, that's that's not our style. I wouldn't say walk the ball in the back of the net. But we've not got that much pace to break, teams, uh, break on teams. Um, and in the Premier League... If, if you're going to be defending a lot, which we probably are next season, I don't think we'll have the ball anywhere near as much as we did last season. However, we did say that in League One when we came into the Championship, but it's the Premier League. It's a different ball game altogether. So we do need a bit of pace, and I think Neil Morpé would be that bit of pace. And other than the pace, it reminds me of Billy Sharp. He's, he's very he's physical, which Billy Sharp is. I know Billy Sharp's not too strong, but he is physical and he gets, he, he's like all arms and backs and, and everything to try and get uh, some sort of advantage. And that's what reminds me of, of Billy Sharp, of Neil Morpé or vice versa or whatever. Uh, Neil Morpé is also a really, really good finisher, which obviously Billy Sharp is. And he's a bit of a shit house. I'm, I'm not going to mince my words. He's a bit of a shit house, And that's Billy Sharp for you. He'll go away and shush the crowd. Or he'll go away and, and like Neil, Neil Mopé against Leeds. He would just stood like that in front of the away end. And that's what that's what you kind of need. Sometimes you need... When, when you're a team coming up into the Premiership, you need someone who's going to get defenders' backs up. Because in the Premier League, there's a lot of football and defenders... And bringing the ball out. And, and if you put a lot of pressure on these defenders, they're not going to want to play football out from the back. They're probably just going to end up whacking it and then it's going to come back. So you do need someone like that. And Neil Morpé would be the perfect person for our strike force, in my opinion. But like I say, it's, it's, um, it's taking a while to go over the line, whatever's happening. 
like I say, another club might have come in, put a spanner in the works. We might not be able to agree a fee. We might not be able to agree personal terms, which I don't think it's got to that yet. I haven't heard anyone say that he's waiting for a bus on Shoreham Street after signing. Um, yeah, so so uh, I, I know that Chris Wilder will want to get as many through the door as possible, as early as possible. He probably would have liked to have got another couple of signings in before Portugal because it looks like they're doing a lot, a lot of training, a lot of strength work, a lot of gym work, a lot of football work, a lot of football in general, shooting, shooting drills, everything you can think of. Obviously, you don't normally see these types of things from, um, I wouldn't say holiday camps, it's definitely not a holiday camp, from these training camps abroad, but they've been brilliant, Chef United, and they've been they've been putting everything on Twitter, and it's great to see. However, I have notifications on my Twitter for the Sheffield United at link at LinkedIn Twitter page, and all I keep seeing is stuff from Portugal, and I want to see Neil Morpé sign. And I know this is probably not going to happen before they come back. I'm not too sure when they do come back. But I'm sure Chris Wilder will be keeping tabs on all the players that he wants to sign. Because we know we know what Chris Wilder's like. I'm surprised he's even got more pay in because or trying to get more pay in. Because more pay is obviously French, lots of money, and that's not what we do. We buy British players that he can mould into whatever he likes. And we we obviously don't like to pay a lot for players. And obviously, if more pay does come, we're going to have to spend a lot of money on him. So, yes, uh, like I said, it, it's really annoying me that he's not, it's not come through yet. Uh, like I said, again, I, I expected it a week ago. We do know that there's going to be more signings that Chris Wilder brings in before the start of the season. Uh, I do think we need another two strikers. We obviously need a goalkeeper. Uh, <clears throat> Simon Moore looks like he's doing quite well over in Portugal. However... I don't think he's Premier League standard. I do think he could come in for one or two games and possibly kind of do a good job. But it does look like Dean Henderson will be coming back to us. He's not gone to um, Man United's, uh, I think it's China tour. Um, but that could be because he's just not, um, he's, he's, been given, he's been given a holiday so that he doesn't have to join up with him yet. However... I think that's probably because he's coming to us. It's got to be, definitely. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I was going to say was, um, you would think that this is the time when Brentford can let Morpay go um, because they've just spent five point five on Pontus Janssen, and they'll obviously want to recoup some of that money. Um, they aren't a team that strikes me as spending a hell of a lot of money on players like Janssen. However, if they're getting 15 million back, they'll end up probably signing a few more players, including someone to replace Mopé, which will be quite difficult. So yeah, obviously Pontus Janssen was supposed to, well, not supposed to be coming to us, but was rumoured to be, we were interested in him. I don't know if that was ever a thing. I think people just put two and two together and came up with five. Uh, Chris Wilder probably was never interested in in Pontus Janssen. And uh, we've got Jags anyway, so Jags is that player that we need. We don't really need a Pontus Janssen. We've got a, a very, very good John Egan. Um, and the other two positions, I don't think Pontus Janssen will be flying past a, a right wing back or a left wing back uh, anytime soon. So he's not the player for us. I'm glad we've, we've not kind of pressed the panic button and gone for someone like him. Jags is great. Jags is fine. Jags can. He. I don't think he'll start the season, but he will. Uh, he will fill in very well for Egan and possibly even bash him because he's a good footballer. He's a really good footballer. So, we've obviously also got another centre back uh, that I think can play kind of left centre back, maybe even left wing back. Um, if we play more defensive, I, I, his name escapes me. He played for QPR last season. Hersey Games will definitely be able to tell me who he is. Um, but um, yeah, he, he's on he's on trial at the moment with Ravel Morrison as well, which is great. Love to see Ravel Morrison. If he if we can get his head right, if Wilder can get his head right, he could be an absolute bargain bargain of the century. Um, 
and he can definitely do it in the Premier League. Uh, he's, he's had a lot of people say how good he is. Probably one of the best players to not really make it in the Premier League. So he could make it in the Premier League with us. Obviously got Luke Freeman as well. So we've got the attacking midfield covered. Completely covered if you ask me. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please smash a like on it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah. And stay in good pick. Yo, yo, check, new kit, who this? Same team, new style on the pitch. Them blades aren't playing no games. I suggest everybody better pattern up quick.